Hi everybody and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host, Katie. Today is another special cocktail episode because I hit 100 subscribers and I am very, very excited about that. Technically, I hit 166, but with Thanksgiving and traveling, I didn't have time to record this. So here is my thank you for subscribing to my channel cocktail episode. This one is for you guys. Unlike last episode, I'm doing another tiki cocktail because that's kind of my thing. And today what we're doing is the Eastern Sour. And the Eastern Sour was invented by Trader Vic's in uh, circa the 1950s and is a drink for, a tiki drink for those who don't like rum, if that can even be possible. But this one is made with either bourbon or rye depending upon your preference. Um, there's very few ingredients, it's really easy to make at home, so I thought this one would be perfect for you guys. So let's get started in making a cocktail. Empty cocktail shaker. And we're going to start with two and a half ounces of fresh squeezed OJ. And uh, I bought mine at the grocery store because I'm lazy, but if you have a juicer and you're awesome and way more motivated than I am, then you can squeeze your own. But I prefer zero pulp to very minimal pulp because I don't like the texture it adds to the cocktail. But we're going to measure out two and a half ounces of this. into your empty shaker. Uh, next ingredient, uh, you want orgeat, which is, as I mentioned in my Mai Tai episode, an almond-based syrup. And I'm using the Small Hands Food brand, which is actually my favorite one that I've found so far. And you want a quarter ounce of orgeat. And then you want a quarter ounce of one-to-one -one simple syrup. So just a one-to-one -one sugar water ratio, heat it up on the stove. Uh, then you want three quarter ounces of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And this is already strained. I strained it and put it back in here. Make sure you strain your lemon juice. And last, but certainly not least, you want either your bourbon or your rye. You're gonna use two ounces of this. And uh, I really prefer my Eastern Sours with the Overproof Rittenhouse Rye. And this is 50% alcohol by volume, it's 100 proof, and it's delicious, and it makes a really good Eastern Sour. So this is what I like to use. If you do use bourbon, I recommend upping it to two and a half ounces. Um, otherwise, the cocktail feels a bit too sweet for me, and a bit too citrus forward. And this is a generous two ounces. And if you wanted to do two and a half ounces of this, I wouldn't tell. And then next, all you need is your crushed ice. And the thing about the Eastern Sour that makes it interesting is that you don't strain this cocktail once you shake it. What you're gonna do is just shake it, take off the top and pour ice and everything into your glass. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this with crushed ice. I'm going to I'm going to fill this with crushed ice. I don't care what you think. You're not the cocktail expert. I'm going to fill this with crushed ice and then pour, uh, shake it, and then I will come back to you guys. So let me fill this. Here. Okay. All right, guys. I'm back. I have shaken my cocktail. There is a nice frost on the glass. I'm going to tap it on the counter to break the seal. And then I'm going to pour all of this into my awesome Trader Vic skull mug. Now the Eastern Sour is typically uh, put into a goblet, um, but I think a skull mug is cooler. And it doesn't typically come with a light inside, but we had lights left over from Jack Lantern, so there you go. Uh, garnish is typically spent lemon uh, shells or uh, orange shells. Uh, so I'm just going to pop one in there, put my straw in, oops, I'm going to fumble my straw and then put my straw in, and now you have your Eastern Sour. So cheers guys, let's try it. It's really freaking good, and you know what, I bet I could go up to a full two and a half ounces of rye and have it still be perfect. 
This is amazing. A tiki drink, not made with rum, few ingredients, easy to make at home. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this specialty cocktail episode. Thank you again for the 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. All of you who have engaged me in the dialogue on my videos, who like my posts, all of this. I mean, I just, I really appreciate you helping me make my dream of being a Let's Player come true. So cheers to y'all. Look forward to a cocktail episode when I hit 200 subscribers, which shouldn't be too long. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Suki does too, despite her bitching. Cheers, guys.